Hi, it's Sonia and welcome back to my art YouTube channel. This week, um, I thought I'd sort of end the week with three ways to use the unexperimented using Conte crayons. They're like really hard pastels, I would describe them. And uh, yeah, I was going to do a vlog, but then I'm like, I'm not really recording footage this week because I've got kids off school. So I'm just sort of slinking in here, um, just making art when I can and not recording it as much but this is my new newish well loose sketchbook and I'm trying to be less precious I did this sketch with a pentel brush pen from a landscape photo last night um so it wasn't it wasn't in daylight and then I've, I was thinking oh should I just carry on and make it just pen and ink but I've come back in the morning I thought well there's not a good one to play about I really want to experiment with these crayons and see uh, I showed them at the end of a um, art materials video as some of the, one of the art supplies that I don't particularly personally love that much. If they were just sitting, I've had them for like over, I dread to think, 15, 16 years. And I got them this big set because actually at Cass Eye it was, it was relatively inexpensive because I wanted to get, oh my gosh, I can't even, I've got no space on my desk. Um, than buying just like the you know the burnt umber and the uh, sanguine colors so let's here i've already what i wanted to do is i went for a pastel demonstration and the um, pastel artist was using in here i've got some like rubbing alcohol or you know medical alcohol and she was using the sort of the pastels as sort of like a the, for the base layer of her pastel drawing for like paint and i was like okay i can get with that um i still don't so I, and i've just had a quick go on my drawing and it's yeah I'm really is it dry this is mixed media paper this is an artesia mixed media sketchbook so yeah we're gonna get this buckling is going to occur but the whole point is I'm trying to be less precious I feel like I've recently got a little bit more some people say you're not precious but I have got a little bit more precious in my sketchbooks and I want to get out of that the point is they are to play and experiment and um yeah to so, you know, to test me on each other. So let's have a go. One of the things I don't love about them, I, I, I've got to be honest, I don't think I am... I say that and then I have a go and I'm like, oh, actually, that's quite fun. Uh, but I don't love the sensation sometimes with the hard pastels on paper. Like, especially if they're very, that sort of, you know, chalk on. It's just sometimes it's sound and tactility, isn't it, with um, art supplies as well. But, let's just put here, do they blend? But then using them as a painting sort of a background is quite fun so I'm quite a liking this effect to be honest with you I was a bit worried actually I forgot whether or not this pentel brush pens ink is a uh, water soluble is it all just gonna become a bit of a mess but it seems to be holding up at the moment do you know what actually I don't mind them on this paper I think this has got a bit of a tooth I don't know in a minute, I'm going to show you. So this is the first way. So I'm just going to play about. I'm not going to finish anything in particular or do complete process videos because, and I'm keeping kind of too realistic. Obviously, this is sort of a bay scene with a fisherman. So kind of keeping, I don't want the colours to be so realistic. It's like a loose, fun sketchbook. I just want to see, I just want to get to grips with these and play around. I mean, nothing much is happening. So, yeah, they are still quite hard. What would happen if I went? I think I to say you can get lay down quite a lot of colour quickly with these. I just very very I just, they're just sitting around. I don't really pick them up. The uh, place I have been using them, I'll show a page in a minute because I'll do what I quite like to do with them is in my abstract sketchbook. And then I am going to have a go and start to go really traditional, which is what I believe they were for and an artist. I think I got them because I went to life drawing and there was, um, I think they might have been recommended. This was years and years ago. 
I'm going to pay to go to some art life drawing sessions. Actually, no, I did a pre-foundation that was included. We could go to these extra. I love life drawing. I mean, I just want to also, so they don't, I wonder if this will stop them. Will I even need to go in and fix it if I put this alcohol down? Look, I'm not a pastel artist. The other reason I know this is because I know lots of you always have great advice. So if you want to um, right, give me some suggestions, I'm probably using these completely incorrectly. I don't, I don't know why I'm adding purple because I can. Hmm. So yeah. I just want to see if they would be anything to consider in sort of a mixed media piece. I think the other, I mean, these are Conte crayons, but I think the other equivalent is a, I did look it up. Um, oh, what are they called? New pastels, like Prismacolor. But yeah, they're very, these are, this, then definitely, I think I prefer, if I'm honest, I think I prefer Neo Color, um, the Neo Color twos, and even the ones. And I also, I think I'm even starting to prefer oil pastels, though I've only got like cheap sets of oil pastels. Yeah, so I still don't feel. Should we move on? Okay, let's just quickly finish up with a little bit more. I might have to. Gosh, using alcohol is quite smelly as well. See, I think I've, before I've just used water and that seemed to be fine. I don't think I'm necessarily going to be a pastel artist. But you don't know until you try. So here we go. So, yes, that's a how... This is my experiment in this sketchbook. I think I will come back in with them. Like, for example, this page here needs to be redone. I don't like this one. This is complete. But, again, you're not going to be able to... I don't think... This is the point because I don't really care about this page. I could, oh, you could go over and with a, yeah, I could go over the top, but then how would that fix down? But yeah, I'm going to redo that one. But I actually, you know what? I kind of like the subtlety here. This is, could be something to go with. Okay, so now I'm going to do, that's, one way, sort of a loose sketchbook on top of an ink drawing way. Now let's go for, okay, I've never really done a process drawing. I, no, I have done, that's not That's not true. I did do some portraits for the 100 day. This is my 100 day sketchbook and I am gonna actually redo it because I don't actually like it. So um, yes, yeah, I'm going at the back because even I'm gonna paint over, like I've already started painting over one page but I want this to be sort of more of a, a playful figurative sketchbook and I'm using okay a reference from I feel like I'm not sure YouTube's gonna like me using naked people references or like life drawing references so let's use this guy from my um toy from this one the sketch uh, from this reference book and um Oh my gosh, this is a bit tricky with space. I'm gonna to have to put it here out the way. And I think, I think I ended up getting rid of a load of the life drawings I did because also they're so, I don't think I had, did I, I must have had fixatives then. I just, I did them on big pieces of paper. See, they're really smudgy. I bet you there's going to be some amazing, if you search, there'll be some artists on YouTube doing amazing things with uh, these crayons, like drawing beautifully. But it, uh, this is the whole thing. I want to be honest with, uh, I've not practiced, I've not prepared this one beforehand. Uh, this is actually how I'm finding them right now. And for my style of work, I don't, I don't know how I feel. I'm not gonna say. I think there could be room for them. I 
my problem with them is that they're not blunt enough that I feel I want to get very loose and playful in a figurative way as I would with uh, say a the blunt stub of a neo color crayon I guess charcoal I mean I want to I used to draw charcoal a lot years ago because that you know, you're going you know you're trying to do traditional I'm sure you could Problem is, is like I don't know with myself because I haven't really used these for a long time. Do I want to get detailed? Do I want to go loose? It's like I can't make my mind up with this material where I'm going at the moment. If you really don't like um, an art material and you're not and you haven't got the space, because I've bought art material secondhand um, when I go to like thrift shops or charity shops, and I love it if I can find a, you know, a, a bargain that should I try and put. So uh, then, if you really don't, I said, this isn't okay. I like this now. I'm kind of, you know what? This isn't, and I could see I could actually get in and be really delicate. This is a super quick sketch. Should we jazz it up with a little bit of colour? Like, should we go a bit crazy? Well, I'd really like her some neons, obviously. <laughs> and just to, like, make a pop of... Um, I feel like everyone is doing more... Yeah, like how do how do we use? Which I think is very helpful. Like, how do we use up materials? And also, maybe there is something in seeing people uh, for the first time making mistakes and not doing the best best um, first time efforts. But I can see potential. I can see how I'm out of practice with these from a uh, realistic drawing point of view. I feel a little bit. This does, I'll show you the reference again at the end, but. I kind of I should, um, sometimes it's quite fun to just play with colour a little. Okay. You know what? After moaning a little bit, I actually really, in some ways, appreciate the slight grain and the lack of, slight lack, I feel less in control. I also, I feel... Yeah, okay. This could actually be a fun. Obviously, there's a tendency to get too, you could go too far, but it's a sketchbook. I'm just trying to get my feel. This is sort of a gold, he's got a weird gold material collar thing. I obviously haven't gone too off key really with these. I can see now how, oh, it's making me want to draw. All right, so this is the thing, you're seeing me now. Oh, do you know what I was thinking? I have to say, when I was starting off with them, I was like, oh, I, I will not be recommending these. And I'm not necessarily, I don't really want to make recommendations or not recommendations, because actually art materials are so personal. It's about finding a way, but um, just, I think it's a good exercise in not being, in before you do give away this, this, you know, any materials, just have a quick little play. So search up as well, so you can search up online. Like I had a quick look, like other ways of uh, using um, Conte crayons I have to see what there was, to see if there's any much information out there. And I think I also saw, I did it very quickly, um, something about using them, you know what you need is a little bit of blue. You can um, use, what, was it, what did they say, on top of watercolour. 
you can uh i think he's got blue eyes but i just want to add you can add them on top of um watercolors as to add up it said somewhere that you could want sort of a more of a should we go for no yes let's go for that. ow i managed to get a cactus stab myself on the cactus plant i mean it hurts them okay I'm, i need to stop in a minute because i want to move on and show another technique i don't want this to be a very too laborious video sometimes it's like the tiny details i want to get a turn nose looks out of whack. Oh, I'm getting myself caught up in this one. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I can definitely see how these could be. I want a thinner brush. Oh, I probably will have to spray this. So for my first time back, I think drawing a portrait or not a portrait, but a, you know, doing a master copy using this these crayons, it's been yeah, it's not as a uh, they they've been a lot more. So that I stuffed up here. I need to bring out this shadow because it's that that shadow is in darkness. This part here. Actually, sort of use it, uh, swish it around a bit as paint. So I never did that when I used them in the life drawing classes. I didn't know about this aspect back then. I always just used them as crayons, and then they, I, that's why I found them really unsatisfying because then they would smudge even with. And I had them in my giant folder, and then I looked back on them, and I was like, oh, these, this is really annoying. I could actually, out of interest. I need to, I'll have to experiment with that with the idea of um, doing them on top of watercolour. Okay, so that's another, that's my second way today. Let's now. What I like to do with these crayons in an abstract sketchbook is I just lay down a little bit of this, it just creates this like nice background colour. So let's do a quick demonstration here. So, I wonder, let's try it with the alcohol. So you could just lay down, I think you could have fun laying down a, just a bit of a fun background to get going on. And I don't think you even need I've got to be honest with you, the alcohol. I've got, I think water. I've basically been using water before. Maybe, um, so, and I kind of like to just, yeah, smudge it with a bit of towel. And then, yeah, I actually like that. So you've got, I don't know if you can see, um, the, uh, let's go for a dark colour. Sort of like powdery, how do, like you imagine this would be great for, actually, in landscape work, it's sort of a mist. And then, I can maybe keep using this towel because it's a little bit of it. So I think this is quite a fun material for abstracts. Um, as well. If I go really, you see all the dust pigment coming off. I just... Yeah, and then you've got the, that harsh bit, but then you can smudge it. And now this is a great surface underneath. If you do this as the underneath layer, then you could go on top with, for, for me, like markers it just adds a little bit of a bloom of color 
background or a way even of starting off a page. Good. Right. Three ways with uh, Conte crayons. Let me know how you find them. I'm going to be honest, my overall finding is I'll, I, I'm going to keep them and use them. They are not my favourite material. Uh, that's just that. Um, but I don't feel I want to donate them quite yet. Uh, yeah, and also do check out your... Um, you can even get secondhand art supply stores where people donate uh, art materials as well. That's a good... If you're on a budget and you want to experiment with a different material, they're quite fun places if you've got the time and one near you to go. Hey, it's Sonia. I'm just um, editing the video and I'm... Also, as is the way, I had a little, having a break. Um, I just want to end the video because I actually have done a little bit more research and isn't it the way? I like to play with things. It's like I don't like to read instructions. Um, and then I will sometimes go and do a bit more research. So just to say that I did look up that this is a drawing, Conte crayons are a drawing medium composed of compressed powdered graphite or charcoal mixed with a clay base. Um, and they're frequently used on rough paper. That makes sense why I'm going to have to think about the sketchbooks I use them in. Um, that holds pigment grains well. And it can be used prepared also on primed canvases for underdrawing before painting. Which is another way I could use them up actually. So that's quite useful to know. Um, they are hard and have square edges making them more suitable for detailed hatched work as opposed to the bolder painterly drawing styles demanded by soft pastels. By the way, this is just all off Wikipedia, but um, yeah. And then I just noted George Surratt, I don't know if I pronounced his name right, Surratt, because um, yeah, it, uh, I saw, there was a couple of images where he's used Conte crayons in the 18, in 1880s and um, to, use, to produce many of his studies. And I quite liked the effect he'd got in his studies. So I was like, okay. Uh, I, enjoy, I quite enjoyed doing the uh, quick master copy. Maybe I should come back and do some more with this material. So then I've just, for myself, uh, this is kind of like my studio composition book where I make sort of notes for, um, if I want to come back to things. And I, I'm thinking I'd like to use them for my findings are, for my personal findings and research. I think they're going to work well for backgrounds, sort of that misty block colour backgrounds, maybe with some water and alcohol for landscapes. Um, definitely, I think I'm going to try and bring them into my figurative drawing practice, especially if I want to get into larger sketchbooks um, with that, or just, you know, bigger, bigger drawings. Uh, abstracts. I feel like abstracts, so there's always room to play about with material. And you don't necessarily need to read the instructions beforehand with abstracts. Um, and then from the internet, what's that? Oh, this is from the internet. I read uh, about you can apparently add lines to watercolour paintings. And I did have a go on a landscape. And I've got to be honest, I'm not sure that's necessarily for me. I think if I want to add lines to uh, a harsh line to a watercolour, I'm probably going to go for, uh, use a Conte crayon, um, um, oh gosh, sorry, a Neocolor crayon or uh, an oil pastel. Okay, I hope maybe, this is, you got to see me exploring. I don't ever want to pretend that I'm going to give uh, hard, um, hardcore technical advice or tutorials, but it's more to maybe encourage if you want to have some materials to play with your materials, there's a wealth of um, advice on the internet, online, in books. So yeah, uh, let's all have good fun testing out the art materials we have. And then if we, those we don't love, we can um, donate, give away or yeah. So um, thank you very much for watching this video and I will be back uh, again next time. I'm not sure if I've got, I've got a few sketchbook tours, maybe I'll do an artist vlog. Yeah, so thanks for watching and bye.